Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5068861 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So over here you can see pause update. So you can click on pause over here. Now once paused, now you can click on resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is start these services. So type in services in Windows search box. Click on services. Find app readiness. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Click on OK. Make a right click on app readiness. Click on restart. Now find Windows update in the list. Scroll down here you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update. Click on restart. Now once done, find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click and then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window. Once the second scan is 100% complete, then copy the third command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. For this, this will take you to Microsoft web website. The link is provided in the video description. Now over here, uh, write down the name of the update. That is KB5068861. And then click on search. Now over here, you have to Type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command and check the version. So in my case, it is version 25H2 and then check the system type. Now for this, you can go to system, scroll down, go to about option. And here you can see system type is 64 bit operating system in my case. So it's for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system so this is the right one for me now if you have windows 11 version 24 h2 x64 base system then this is the right one for you now for me this is the right one now click on download over here and then over here you can see kb5068861 click on it and let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file follow the on-screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update for this open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update, Advanced option over here. Scroll down, go to Recovery option. Over here, you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next over here. Select ISO file over here. Click on next. You can save it to desktop, save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. Once the download is complete, you can, you can click on finish over here and then let this close automatically. This will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute, minute to close. 
Once closed, go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, make a double click on setup file, run this file, click on yes to allow, click on next over here, and then click on accept over here. Now over here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. And after the installation, this process will take some time. And once this is done, now you can restart your computer and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.